You listen here. You're about to get this mouthful more. <gasps> Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates today and only today. We are here to talk about that's right, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I played through the game and my voice is a little fucked up. I'm sorry, it's because I was streaming the game for like 10 hours yesterday. So that shit was crazy. But yeah, we are here. I'm finally ready to actually give my thoughts on the game now that I've played through it. And I'm a big Kirby fan. I've said this on this channel before. I've made videos about it and all that stuff. But yeah, I adore Kirby as a franchise. I've played pretty much all these games and uh, i was looking forward to this so much and man it delivered bro this game is awesome bro the gameplay the environments the airs everything about this game we're gonna get into it like one by one but yeah no i just i want you to know right off the bat that i do adore this game so much now let's start first of all gameplay right gameplay feels awesome right you've got also oh, i didn't even say subscribe to the channel of course if you're enjoying the videos like the video subscribe and all that just get everybody out here you know what i mean get, get everybody in the world on this channel okay get everybody in here so of course thank you all loving the support so yeah let's start with the gameplay gameplay smooth as hell not 60 fps i would have liked that but there's something about this game where i don't know the 30 fps is so smooth throughout the entire game that like i never really noticed like i was never like man i'd rather this be 60 of course i'd like it to be 60 i'd like most of my platforms to be 60 but there's something about the i don't know the way the game was designed made it like feel okay and i think it's because it was consistent i'm okay with 30 fps as long as it is consistent that's always all right with me but in terms of the 3d environment and everything like, the gameplay was awesome because yeah you have the power-ups as always with kirby they can get upgraded versions of them which are like awesome like to me that is such a standout um of the copy abilities because there's few of them this time around there's about like what 12 to 13 but they all have these upgraded versions that make them better i also count mouthful mode as basically a new power-up like i mean when you're when you're turning into a thing that shoots out cans you're turning into a giant glider you're turning into a car like those are effectively power-ups to me and to me that's really dope because the game just has constant variety in which ones you have to use for like secrets or other stuff and i think the game does an awesome job with the gameplay in a 3d environment of like the way you attack things this game does a clever thing with the camera which they explained on twitter where like if an enemy is like right in front of you but like you're still like near them it and you throw your attack it's still gonna hit them as long as they're in that range and they said they want to do that to make you know easier for people to ease into the 3d gameplay and environment and all that stuff and I I think that's just really clever and i think just in terms of that in terms of just the mechanics they have the puzzles they have the gameplay just i don't know man it stood out to me i think it was really super polished and everything felt organic like you figured that things out very quickly there's a lot of secrets in the environment this game full of secrets you have to replay the levels a lot of times to get the secrets am i gonna see this is this gonna happen no you have to replay the levels a lot of times to get the secrets in there because there will be stuff like find all the birds in the levels or like find all the hidden waddle dees or do this specific chat wahoo i did see uh but yeah the, the levels will have a lot of challenges in them which is good incentivize is replay value in a game where i think replay value is worth it when you know you have these power-ups that you're upgrading and all this stuff and and speaking of the upgrades the way you get the upgrades is you go to these challenge rooms these challenge rooms you get these like little bonus dice they are awesome they are effectively like these little rooms where you figure out what challenges like to go through with what power so like let's say it'll be like a sword kirby challenge room and you'll have to get through the room as fast as possible with sword kirby or sometimes it'll be drill kirby and you have to do an enemy gauntlet like a lot of them are these sort of time trial events um but they're just so well designed, so well done that you just can't help but like want to do them over and over again to try to beat them. You can go for the best time if you want. There's two versions of it. There's like just beating it and then there's getting like the sort of uh, winning the best time version of it. And those are where the real challenge come from. And of course, you have Waddle D Town which is super fun to walk around i always appreciate hub worlds in my kirby games you have the area that you fly on it's just it's so well done and well designed throughout the entire thing that you can't help but like want to explore every little fat oh shit my phone fell ah, ah what the fuck ah get it back i got it but yeah you can't help but want to explore every aspect of it and the music oh my god dude this ost has to be some in the entire kirby franchise like i'm 
I don't even know where to begin, bro. The Meta Knight theme is incredible. DDD's theme is fantastic. So much of the, the game's OSC. The, the main theme is incredible that we've gotten there. The desert area. It's like, there's so many banger songs in the game. So, OSC, do not worry yourself. That stuff is a banger right there. So, that's gameplay. That's music. Now, let's talk about environments, right? Because this game has a lot of cool environments. It's sort of, obviously, it's going with the Forgotten Land aesthetic. Everything's kind of destroyed and rusted. You know, it feels like a, a literal Forgotten Land. Um, and and I think, here's my thing, right? As dope as the level design is and everything, I would have liked a more like variety in, in area types because this game does do the trope of grass, sand, ice, fire. Like it does the typical thing, which we've all sort of grown a little tired of uh, in platformers, you know, that you have to go through the notions of those worlds. But I will admit they do a good job. Now, well, my favorite world was the amusement park world because the amusement park world didn't go with that theme. Uh, there's also the, the lava world in the game is dead ass crisis city like it is literally like a just a a bird city on fire it is super super dope um but yeah no i, I would have liked a little more like unique areas like the amusement park level because as cool as the environments are like seeing a lot of the same color palettes and stuff can be a little you're like okay it's been there done that but again they are designed so well that you don't even think about it a lot of the times you know you're just going through it the going through the water is super cool getting the power up upgrades talked about that really cool. Man, i just i can't get over how cool the power up upgrades are like getting these second third abilities of the typical kirby power ups and getting the mouthful modes they're just so fun and i loved going back to these levels and i'm still gonna go back to get more hidden stuff um and i just love them and i love what they did even when you go to like the challenge room they've got like an aesthetic to them so this game just has a style and flair like i said even though i wanted a few more unique areas i just the gameplay is so good that uh, i can't help but be happy about it so that's that with that and yeah i mean this game if you want to talk about you know collectibles and secrets and all that for a platformer you get a lot of that 100 percent this game um will take a good amount of effort i mean it, it's definitely challenging but it's i would say of all the modern kirby games of a main game not necessarily you know the secret areas of it's definitely the most challenging uh in terms of the types of enemies they throw at you and i like the level achievements the level achievements like i said really cool mouthful mode obviously a big mechanic of the game it's always so well done like the car i actually feels amazing to drive the gliding is actually really good like a lot of times you know you, you get scared that when they do this they're like it's just not gonna feel good but everything feels good and i feel like that's just this theme of this game i mean it's just feel good man it's joy throughout the entire thing it's so well designed and no spoilers but the final boss sequence and everything was crazy it was like I couldn't believe it. Like, Kirby games have had crazy endings, but this was insane on its own level. Like, shout out to Hot Loves. I don't know what crack they were smoking to make something like that, but shout out to them. They did an amazing job. And, like, like I said, man, just everything about the game just fits so well. Like, I, I love Waddle D Town. I love the extra collectibles. You can get these little gotcha figures in the game for more replay value. There's mini games. The game just has a breadth of content. And,. This game fits the theme of things I've loved for a while now, where this game, what, maybe 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours to 100%, and I just love games with this length to me, man. This length of game in a modern setting is awesome. You had stuff like, what's it called? Miles Morales, like Spider-Man Miles Morales, that's around 15 hours. You have this, that's around 15 hours. You had Metroid Dread, that was about like 8 to 12 to 13 hours. Like, that, like I just like the games where you can play them, you know, get 100%, take your time with them. But like, that length just feels good because you can tell they crafted every moment. I didn't get to play in co-op, sadly. But for people that have played, they actually say it is really well done, really well designed. And just, I'm so happy, man. Like, for the first game that we've been waiting for something like this for so long for a 3d kirby because we had the return to dream we had like the modern 2d um kirby's you know return to dreamland kirby triple deluxe robobot and star allies and they were all great all fun um but something like this felt needed and i think everything about it just was so i was so happy playing it throughout it on stream the bosses are so there's some later game bosses that are really surprising challenges that are really good and just overall man i was just really happy with this game and it just made me feel good the music was so good and everything about it i loved and yeah like i said my one issue with the game would be some environmental you know you know uh what's it called things we've seen before but for the most part really well designed game really awesome stuff and uh like i said
How Lives gotta give props. I want this to be the future of the franchise. I want it. Obviously, one damn sure I'm gonna want another 2D. But for now, give me some more 3D. Experiment in that environment. Go back to Air Ride. Go do some of the spin-offs you do in 3D. And expand on this, man. Because it's really worth it. They got something special here. And they nailed it for the first time around. Like I said, it's not a perfect video game. But it is just amazing throughout. And I just... I love it, man. I love Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Y'all, let me know what you guys think down below. What are your favorite parts? What's your favorite power-up? I would say... My favorite power-ups were the gun. The gun one was really fun, especially when you get it to level 3. Spike. Spike was a big highlight to me. Because, like, you could level it up. You could do almost pretty much, like, spins and everything. Really good one. And I really love Hammer. Hammer is awesome this time around with the upgrade. Also, go to the Colosseum and fight Meta Knight because it's worth it. So, guys, thank y'all for watching. Y'all are the best. And, of course, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Stay goaded. Woo!